Joe Farmer, one two three, coming back to you with the pickups video, and I got a bunch of stuff I'd like to show y'all. Um, this is just a bunch, and there's movies I picked up too. I'll show you the biggest mega score at the end. Um, so let's get right into this. Um, first, I'll start with the movies I picked up from uh, a local thrift store. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. There is another DVD disc in here for Pirates of the Caribbean, Cruise of the Black Pearl, Disc 1. They're both for Disc 1 in here. And I already had Disc 2 for the Cruise. And I picked up Spider-Man, The Ultimate Villain Showdown. Really nice. Uh, Stallone, Rambo. Really good movie. Super Mario World, um, 1 and 2 with Captain Hen. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, which I'm sending to a buddy. Uh, after Sundown, I'm sending to a buddy. Um, Tanichi the Movie 2, The Daughter's Darkness, which is a really good anime movie from when I seen it, and I'm not into anime, but it was good. That's gonna go to a friend. Um, Black Legion, it was a four disc movie he gave me for free, because as you can see, it's only got disc four, it's missing three. One and two. Give me a five disc set of the Cosmo Warrior Zero, which is really nice. He threw in for free. Um, can't beat free. Um, then I picked up, I paid 20 bucks for these four items. Um, the Logitech microphone for Rock Band. It works on PS3 and Xbox. Uh, this really, really badass PlayStation controller. missing the doggle. And the battery door, as you can see, but it was really nice. It has skulls on it and stuff. I just figured it was worth it. If you got the doggle for this, the PS3 doggle for the, or maybe it's PS2, I don't know, for the Rock Band uh, PS3 controller, I don't know, have any other way to test it. And I picked up the Xbox Rock Band, or Guitar Hero World Tour guitar, the Flipper. When you push down, it won't register, but it'll register up, so I gotta try and open it and flip it around. Okay, let's move these out of the way really fast. And a bunch of other stuff that I did pick up was some Super Nintendo games from actually a newer store here in town, um, which hopefully you all will like that. I picked up Oh, and also I picked up this game too, Donkey Kong Country 2. I paid five bucks, and he also threw in the light up PS3 controller. And then, but the games I did pick up were A Bug's Life, uh, Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling, and I already had the manual for it, which is nice. I got a semi-complete game. Urban Strike, the sequel to Jungle Strike, in the little dust cover. Chess Master. Super Scope 6, which this will be up for trade. I got the gun. Possibly extra. I don't know if I'm going to trade this with the gun yet, but it's missed in the center. It does work. I have one complete. And Arkanoid. And one of the rare, rare, rare items I picked up. This is actually a score for me to find. Is the... Uh, Laura Croft Tomb Raider memory card. It's like perfectly near mint besides the little paint fading on the glove right there. Other than that, yeah. Um, then I paid a lady for these four games here. I paid 20, no, 15 bucks. I don't own a TI-99 yet, but this was worth it. Tunnels of Doom. Really good game. Uh, sewer Shark, but it's in a uh, Lethal Enforcers 2 case for the Sega CD. Uh, Power Monger, complete disc is like mint, but the case looks like shit. And Rise of Dragon, again the case looks like shit, but the game is like near mint. Okay, let's get these out of <laughs> Now on to the Mega Pickup Score. A uh, guy at my work wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff, so... 
I offered him a fair price on the first lot. It was a PlayStation. And I didn't know I was getting this other stuff. The PlayStation is in the box. This is my fourth one in the box. Because I got a slant small and two other ones just like this. Um, it came with two controllers. I did not know this was coming with it for 20 bucks. I got the racing wheel in the box, which is like nice. The box is all kind of tore up. I figure from Christmas wrapping because they're still wrapping on it. But it was a great deal. And then I got all this stuff from them. Like I got like 20 something games. And I'll just, I'll get to the PlayStation games as I go along. I got these three cases off them for uh, these old ass floppy disks that you see that's sitting in here for the old computers. Kind of nice to have. You can throw other little CD cases in it. Um, he also gave me this a CD player. And he just threw this in for free, but it had, for one of the Pokemon games, the soundtrack for Pokemon 3. Um, I don't know much about it yet, but I'm looking into it. Um, and then, like this thing I got off him. An old Dreamcast soft case, you know. It's got some PS2 demo disc in it. And then this case got a whole bunch of PS1 demo disc in it. I'm going to hopefully get the complete collection of that here soon enough. Um, two Mighty Kids Meals, a Yu-Gi-Oh! computer game. I got um, these two games from them. NFL Blitz and Hey You Pikachu. And I just traded one to 49er Nation, which looks shittier than this. I'm sorry about that, bro. Um, if you would like to make a trade for this nice, nice copy, I got to check mine to see which one looks better, if mine or this one does. And then if you're interested, we can work something out. Mine's pretty close to this, I'd say. Um, another thing I got from him was just a bunch of random boxes. This was the box only for the PlayStation, but luckily... I actually had one for the box. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. Uh, manuals I got. Oh, this is something I already had for the e-reader. Pokemon Snap, which might be for trade. Insert Hey You Pikachu manual, which might be for trade. Um, uh, Stadium 2, which I do believe I will be trading. Uh, that would be for trade. It's a demo disc. Um, this was the box only I got from him, but I put the microphone in it so far, which is good. He threw that in for free. And then the, in total, I paid 40 bucks for all this uh, e-reader that I got from him. Baggies to go with the 64 box that I got from him. Um, got a Game Shark adapter, a GameCube extender, and a power cord that goes with the rechargeable battery for the... Uh, Game Boy Advance, and then I got a whole bunch of these little Game Boy Advance cases, which are always nice, a uh, light unit that runs on batteries, um, a uh, Game Boy Advance light, um, more cases, and more manuals, a uh, Pokemon Crystal version, which I needed. Bionicle computer game, a uh, gold version, uh, GameCube manuals, Sonic Heroes for the GameCube, Neo Pets card game booklet, uh, PlayStation manual, a uh, test drive manual for the Game Boy, Pinball, Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy, Yoshi's Island, which that manual may be for trade. I gotta check my box one. Um, Sonic Battle manual. Um, uh, down to the games. Here's the box Game Boy games that I got from them. The red boxes, the other boxes after these are empty. Um, entertainment pack like the six in one. A centipede box complete. Pokemon Red boxed incomplete. That's the only Pokemon game you let go. Kirby's Dream Land boxed complete. Yu Gi Oh! boxed incomplete. Um, 
quality. And this game is not complete. If anyone has these, um, please feel free to let me know. I got a boxed Game Boy Advance, which was nice. He didn't even check it and realize that it was in there, but it's the uh, purple one. I've already tore it apart and cleaned it up. It looks better than it did. Um, if anyone has a blue SP, please, please let me know. And I would gladly like to complete that. Um, here's these box games that I just need the boxes. Um, Sonic Adventures, Spyro Seasons of Ice, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, uh, Kirby's and the Amazing Year. I'm going to have to try and remove the labels off them. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 uh, for the original Game Boy, Mickey's Dangerous Chase, uh, NASCAR Heat 2002, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, these are just boxes on the remember. Um, the loose Game Boy games I got, Test Drive, Cats and Croc 2, which some of these games will be up for trade later on. Uh, PlayStation memory card. Well, there just goes one. Tetris and NBA Jam. Now on to the PlayStation games that I got from them. This is an extra which will be up for trade. Rugrats, um, Studio Tour, uh, Empty Case, but this case was all, the only case I got from Empty Driver. I actually had the game in manual only, which was kind of funny because I needed it. And then, um, but for 20 bucks I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 24 games basically with that system. And I'll kind of go in order. Uh, Tunnel B1, Jet Moto 3, 2, Spiral, Reptor's Rage, oh, that, that might be Trade Frogger. All these games are near mint. Jet Moto 3, Razor, and uh, NASCAR Thunder 2004. If anyone has a manual for that, please, please let me know. Okay. NASCAR 2000, um, Street Racer needs a manual. Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing, Crash 2, Mayhem, which Crash 2 movies should be up for trade, Crash Bash, as I can see I got an extra copy here, um, Cool Borders 4, that's a great, great series, I love that series, um, Dukes of Hazard. I didn't think he had the disc for this till I opened up the PlayStation. Rugrat Studio Tour. Uh, Star Ocean. That's an expensive game and is worth getting. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which should be up for trade. And Digimon. Um, that's it for the pickups that I've done. I just did a trade with 49er Nation 1. And I should be getting that stuff from him here soon. But I hate to cut this so short. Um, so, thanks again for watching. Subscribe. Leave comments and let me know if there's anything you guys are looking for. Um, uh, thanks, and I'll hopefully show you guys some more stuff soon. You know, for